How much does the addition of those guys, particularly transfers, kind of change the team? Oh, it's it's huge. And and uh, those three guys that that have come in here, Jack was already here, and we saw his leadership impact uh, during spring ball. And then to get uh, JP, to get Paul, to get Cam in here, uh, first and foremost, they're, they're great young men, and uh, they played a lot of football. So they're not new to college football, and they came here with a uh, with an intent. Um, they know that their time is, is limited and they got objectives. And so they're very focused, uh, very driven young men. So that already creates a sense of urgency. And then what you're seeing is the competition, you know, elevates the, uh, the play of, uh, of everybody else. And then the freshmen here too. We got some, we got some, some freshmen that you can see uh, got a bright future. And so again, it just gets the attentions of the other guys. But uh, biggest thing I want to do is shout out the strength staff. Uh, I don't know if you guys paid attention to it. It's a different looking football team. Than, uh, than, than in the spring, uh, just physically. You know, the guys have attacked the summer. Uh, they've taken hold of nutrition. Uh, so I think overall, just we look, we look like a better football team. Now we got to become a team. Uh, we got to work. Uh, we got we to get to the, to the right level of, uh, of uh, mental toughness. Um, today's just day one. It's a starting place. But, uh, but I'm glad to have everybody and have a full roster, you know. Being down 54, being, having 54 guys uh, going into spring on scholarship and, and being able to replenish the roster uh, has been huge for us. Hey, Tony, with all the offensive skill players you have, the line is obviously yeah. crit, crit, good, critical. Mm -hmm. What's the best way to go about developing that and bringing those guys along as fast as possible without overwhelming them? That's right, that's right. So on us as coaches is, is we got to make sure we don't have an ego and uh, we don't make it about uh, us or the system, but we make it about the young men first and foremost uh, and identify what they can do uh, and help them become the best at what, we, what they can do. Um, I think the, the advantage that we do have is, is you, look at, uh, you look at Divine, you look at, uh, you know, Logan Taylor looks great. Josie's been here for a year. Logan's been here for a year. He was injured. Um, then you got Leach has been here for a while. Justice has been here for a couple of years. So uh, they're not, it's not like they're all freshmen. So we got some older guys. They just don't have a ton of experience. But they're, uh, they're taking, they're taking a, a hold to the challenge. Um, you know, JP adds some depth and some competition, uh, gives us some more flexibility at center. And, uh, and we got a lot of young guys, uh, but some of them are going to have to step up. So I think the biggest thing is, is to make sure we don't overwhelm them um, so, that, so that they have confidence. And then, hey, like I told the coaches after practice, you know, it's, it's not about us uh, being the guys that can win on the chalkboard. I'd rather be a, a, a team that is a good team that doesn't do a lot than to be a bad team. But we got great coaches and we got great scheme. Well, first we had to go back to the basics. I just think fundamentally uh, across the board at every position, uh, we just had to get back to the fundamentals. Uh, I think a, a player's true confidence comes from uh, his, his confidence in his fundamentals. So starting there and then uh, uh, adding, we had to add on the D-line. Uh, we added on the offensive line, but it was youth. Uh, so we're going to have to develop, uh, like I said, the veteran guys that don't have a ton of experience. I think the uh, the addition of the grad transfers on the D line, um, you know, and I forgot to, I forgot to talk about uh, Devonte. Uh, he's a big body that when he walks in, everybody knows he's there. So I think they got better, you know, by addition just because all the guys that came in had experience and creates competition. And there were some young, talented guys. Um, but the biggest thing is, is for us as coaches to make sure that we instill confidence and it starts with the fundamentals. And then as the fundamentals continue to improve, then we can focus on the schematics. Are those, are those fundamentals why you're so involved in the individual drills and so hands on? Is that one way to stress it? I think uh, that's part of it, but it, more of it is just my background. I was a, you know, I was a, a, a receiver that played uh, above my ability because I understood the fundamentals of the position. And so even though I wasn't as fast as a lot of guys that I played with, I was able to compete because I understood the fundamentals and the technique. And so that's my background. That's always how I've been as a coach, just being about the fundamentals. Because at the end of the day, football is one, right? When the pressure's on is when guys can, can, can trust their fundamentals and stay fundamentally sound late in the game or in those pressure situations. And so that's, that's more of just my philosophy as a coach. It's all about the, about the fundamentals. What are you looking for out of the first day, Tony? Is it, yep. Were you satisfied or are you expecting too much or not enough? No, I mean, t today was more about evaluation to see where we were. 
right? Because it's a different team. You know, they've we haven't been around them this this summer. It's been the strength staff, the players, the addition of the of the freshmen and the transfers. And so I wanted to to, to kind of evaluate and see what chemistry they have all, that that they've if are. Uh, uh, organically created without trying to jump in there right away. I wanted to see see where they were. Uh, I wanted to see what condition they were in. You know, could they could they push? See how they were going to respond to the to the to the increased intensity when the coaches or when the coaches were out there. Uh, coaches got to get back in the rhythm, you know. So my expectation was just to see uh, guys push, strain, not be perfect because I knew that uh, once the coaches get out there and the bullets start flying, uh, guys are going to get guys are going to get uh, lost in the shuffle a little bit. Uh, so for me, I just want to see guys come out and compete, uh, get a baseline, uh, let them see the, the standard that they set for today, and then challenge them tomorrow. Are you satisfied with the standard that we set, or are we ready to elevate to a new standard? And then each day, just try to get 1% better. Said in the spring, you kind of thought they were shocked by the tempo. Were they more prepared today in your mind? or? I think I think they were, but but what happens? You see a lot of times on the first day, is uh, you know they gas themselves really quick, right? Because they're so excited, and and uh, and uh, but but I thought I thought they pushed pushed through. Um, you know it's it's a fast practice. It's a lot of reps. I mean we're getting we're getting we're getting ten plays per uh, per five minutes, you know segment. So that's thirty seconds. So we're snapping the ball you know quick as we can, and we're rolling we're rolling three groups. So we're repping three groups, so it's, it's fast paced. And then the India is, is fast paced. Special teams right now early on is a little bit slower. There's a little bit of, of, a, of a breakdown, but during camp, I mean, of, of time where we separate and go a little bit slower, but during camp, it's a lot of good on good. Uh, so I, I thought that early on they were ready for the tempo, but I think just the excitement, the energy, man, they, they all were enthused to be out here. They, they probably, you know, had nerves all day. Uh, and they kind of they they ran out the gate but it's a great opportunity for me to challenge them to say, hey, fellas, games are won in the fourth quarter. So I felt like offensively, the last 10 minutes of practice, we kind of, we, you know, we didn't keep, you know, climbing. We kind of we started to fall off, but that's a great opportunity to challenge these guys. We'll do two more questions, and mm -hmm. if anybody needs Lavelle, Smiley, mm -hmm. Collins are already over there, but two more questions you want to get to them. Mm -hmm. What was your impression of Lavelle? I know in the spring you said that he had the you have to struggle a little bit getting yep. his conditioning back. What yep. was your impression of him today? You know, Lavelle, uh, I didn't notice him, which was a good thing. You know, if I if I notice a guy and I'm, and I'm calling a guy out, you know, that's probably not a good thing. But I didn't notice Lavelle. Uh, I mean, he was doing what he was supposed to do. You know, he was getting lined up. Uh, he was giving good effort. Uh, he was uh, he was trying to do the little things in the individual. I was noticing that he was catching the ball and trying to finish and burst. Uh, so you can see that that uh, that he's in a different uh, headspace than he was. Uh, so hopefully that means that he's back to uh, to 100. percent So the fact that I didn't have to get on him, didn't notice him, tells me that uh, that he's uh, that he's in a good place uh, both physically and mentally. Paul is the guy you challenged in the spring. Come out of that. How does he look? Aker said he looks the part. Yeah, he looks the part. So yeah, he <laughs> he's y'all talking to him today. Okay, all right, good. So he uh, he cramped up. Unfortunately, he cramped up. So that's a great opportunity, man. He's battling. He's battling for a starting job. And the best ability that you can have is availability. And you know, mid practice, you know, he cramps up and uh, he's not able to finish practice. And um, so we're gonna trace it back to see what we can do better, how we can. Uh, uh, help educate him and, and challenge him and hold him accountable from a hydration testing standpoint. But uh, man, he looked he looked good. His spirits were good. I mean, the first couple of periods of practice, and the next thing I know, I look over, and he's on the side, um, cramped up.